Hey boys and girls, today um, anchovies and I are going to read you a story. Um, I'm dressed up like my favorite artist, Andy Warhol, um, and we're going to read you the story, Uncle Andy's Cats. Hopefully anchovies will hang out um, as I'm in his favorite spot by the window. So the story today is called Uncle Andy's Cats. It's by James Warhalla, and he is actually Andy Warhol's nephew. So all of the illustrations in the story um, are done to look like um, Andy Warhol's home and show some artwork that looks like um, things that he created um, in our story. Uncle Andy said it all started with a little blue pussycat named Hester. She was just a kitty when I got her from a fabulous movie star named Gloria. Little Hester just loved Uncle Andy's house. It was tall and skinny and perfect for dashing up and down the stairs and hiding among antiques. The only time that Hester was still was when she was staring at Grandma Bubba's um, bird echo. On our visits to Uncle Andy's, we would look and look, but still couldn't find Hester. Little Hester grew and grew and grew and became Big Hester. Uncle Andy and Bubba thought Hester was so lonely that they decided to get Sam. It was love at first sight. Uncle Andy enjoyed Sam and Hester's company when he painted late at night in his studio, and when it was bedtime, the cat's favorite spot was Uncle Andy's wig drawer. So Uncle Andy wore crazy wigs all the time. Um, he wore dress-up wigs, messy wake-up wigs. Um, he wore different wigs for lots of different events and things that he did. On one visit, there were kittens, lots and lots of kittens. Uncle Andy said, it's so marvelous. Hester is now a mommy. Bubba said, they all look like their papa, so let's name them each Sam. He says, holy mackerel. The little Sams loved their tall, skinny house, too. Holy smokes. The only time that they ever saw all the Sams was when Bubba called them for their favorite meal, oatmeal and liver. Uncle Andy said that the Sams liked us best when we were sleeping. I think Uncle Andy did too. We all loved snooping around Uncle Andy's, and one day we got another surprise. Hester and Sam were mommy and daddy again. Holy macaroni! The kittens all looked just like their daddy, so they were also named Sam, and that made for a whole lot of Sams. Uncle Andy was sometimes interrupted with a herd of Sams that would stampede through his studio and the neighbors were interrupted when the Sams would sneak up to the roof. The Sams loved to rumble amongst my uncle's soup boxes. At the end of a long day, they found that sleeping in Uncle Andy's room was very comfortable. Now Bubba and Echo had a little bit too much company. Andy, there are just too many Sams, Bubba told him, but Uncle Andy didn't know what to do. We bought three Sams home with us, but that didn't work out too well when they wouldn't come down from the roof. Finally, Uncle Andy had a plan. Uncle Andy and Bubba drew and painted the most marvelous portraits of Hester and the Sams. After days and days of working, the art was finally ready to be sent. 
to the printer. Uncle Andy and Bubba each created a fabulous book. Uncle Andy's was called 25 Cats Named Sam and One Blue Pussycat, and Bubba named hers Holy Cats. The books were huge hit, and the Sams became famous overnight. Everybody wanted a Sam. They came from uptown and downtown to get a Sam. Okay, and I have pictures of their Sams um, on my shirt today. In no time at all, things were just about back to normal, and that made Uncle Andy and Bubba very pleased. <clears throat> As it turned out, Hester and Sam were just the right amount of cats for their tall, skinny house. And it says, holy moly. So, Uncle Andy, or Andy Warhol, and his mom created all of these pictures of their cats named Sam. Um, they did some pretty simple designs, and then each of them were usually colored with a single color. Um, Uncle Andy is a famous pop artist, or Andy Warhol is a famous artist that lived in New York City. Um, he created modern art of common everyday objects and images of things that people would see um, every day, like soup cans, um, famous people. He would create the same images over and over again, um, and sometimes he would just change the colors. Uh, he started out as an illustrator doing um, advertisements for things like shoes, and then um, he started to create artwork of those common everyday objects, and he would repeat them over and over um, using printmaking. Um, and in my, my art room or my craft room that I have, I have some different Andy Warhol objects. Um, I have this can of crayons that looks like a tomato soup can that Andy Warhol created um, a few years ago, Target kind of re-released some of Andy Warhol's soup cans. So I have soup cans up here. And then over here, um, I have prints of Marilyn Monroe that he made um, that I got at the Andy Warhol Museum, um, which is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, but thank you so much for joining me for the story. I'm going to create another video uh, making a cat named Sam.